Alright, so this is part two of my Sprint Samsung Galaxy Nexus review. I've had the phone for a couple of days and I just want to give my uh, final review on it. Um, overall, it's a pretty damn solid phone. I like the way the phone feels. You can see the contour display I was talking about. It's kind of curved. You can kind of see that curve right there. So it's much more comfortable to put against your ear when you're talking on it. Uh, it's 4.6 inches, 12 80 times 720 display which is a 720p display which is pretty good um, overall I mean it is a pentile display it's a very very good display I don't think it's the best I've ever seen I mean I had the epic touch 4g as well which was super AMOLED plus and uh, the screen was better I mean I don't know maybe I'm crazy but it's definitely a little saturated I mean you, I don't know if you can really see it on here but if you go to like the, the play store and stuff like that you might be able to see that the colors are a little oversaturated. Maybe you can't see, but yeah, they're not natural. I mean, th they're good, but it's just kind of like, and it's very smooth. You know, you can see the Google, st you know, the Play, Play Store, whatever you want to call it. You know, it's pretty smooth. Everything, you know, runs very well. The uh, on-screen buttons, the home button, the back button, the menu button, very, uh, responds very well. The only thing that doesn't respond well sometimes is the, um, notifications sometimes I have to hit it a couple times uh, and you can see with the notification it's kind of like this uh, I don't know it's this neon blue type I guess it reflects on the uh, wallpaper you're using or basically that's how it's set up I don't know how it is but uh, it's pretty cool and uh, all right I understand that okay and let's just go to the apps see I had to hit that twice so I showed you this before now if you keep going you're gonna see little widgets Right, analog clock bookmark, books, calendar, contact, direct dial, directions, direct message. Here are all the widgets, Gmail label, Google search, so you can see all that. Okay. Power control. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else? Battery life isn't pretty good, just so you can actually see the battery life that I've been getting on here. Fourteen percent left, twenty-one hours, sixty-five percent screen. I haven't used it heavily. I did download a lot of songs, but um, and they do download very quickly. But it's just, um, I think with an update, this thing could definitely benefit as far as getting better response as far as you know the, the touch screen. It definitely takes a couple of times. Um, that's a little disappointing, but um, still Sprint's best phone. You get the power button on, on the side, which I like a lot. I don't like it on top. It's easier on the side. That's my personal opinion. I'm used to it because that's how the Epic Touch was, which was a phone I had before. Uh, also, what else? It's very light. You know, and It doesn't feel cheap. I don't know why some people said it feels cheap, but um, I don't think it feels cheap. I think it feels very good. Um, and I think this is the phone to beat right now, as far as the Galaxy Nexus is concerned. 5 megapixel camera with flash and what's cool about the camera it has what's called zero shutter lag and zero shutter lag is basically if I go to the camera and I just take let's see if I just keep hitting the button see it just will we'll take that just take pictures take three or four in a row which is kinda cool let's go back and Wi-Fi is pretty strong um, everyone said that, you know the 3G is a little lacking. Well, you can see right now I have about three or four bars. So um, the 3G, I don't know. Let's just do a quick 3G test. Let's let's say go to uh, Phone Dog. So I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Phone Dog. Now one, two, three, four. a little slow about 28 seconds so you can see it's pretty smooth it was smoother yesterday I not seen that smooth today. it's pretty smooth you know so but um, what else can I talk about I'm a little disappointed with Google Wallet I mean basically you have to have a Citibank you know uh, account and I don't I have uh, Capital One and I have uh, you know HSBC. I don't have Citibank, so I tried to put in my uh, information and said it didn't, it wouldn't take it. So and you have to have a Mastercard apparently. 
unless I'm missing something. So that kind of sucks. So I can't even use it. Um, but everything else is uh, pretty cool. Let's see, anything else I can talk about? Uh, let's just talk about how they have the music. I like how they have the, the music. It's much more cleaner, you know, with the colors and everything like that. You have the recent, you have the artists, you have the albums, and you can go to songs, playlists. You can see all the songs right here. So it looks a lot cooler. It's a lot more cleaner. Um, you know, I'll never go back to Android 2.3 after this. I mean, this to me is the best. You know, Ice Cream Sandwich rocks. I really like it a lot. Oh, and let's talk about what everyone else talks about, which is basically... Uh, the face unlock. So I'm gonna basically go like this. I'm gonna put my face to here. You couldn't see it because I had to take the camera away, but basically it's cool. It reads your face, and if it doesn't read your face sometimes, uh, if it's too dark, you basically have to put in like a, you put a pin code, or you can put in, a, you know, however you wanna do it with the, uh, what do you even call that? A pattern? There you go, pattern unlock so but um what else if you have any questions let me know um very impressed with the phone one thing i like about this phone it doesn't get super hot like the uh epic touch 4g did and that's pretty much it what else can i talk about I talked about sound before so that's it i give it a 9 out of 10 overall sprint's best phone i advise you to get it and uh, i think you'll be very very impressed with it as far as anything that's upcoming the evo 4g lte is it going to be better probably Right now, this is, I think, the best phone. I think it's going to be more powerful. Um, I think the Super LCD screen is going to be sharper and have more natural images. A natural coloring, excuse me. So, But that's to be determined. That's not out yet, but it's coming out in a couple weeks. So, But overall, I really do like this phone. It's really awesome. And uh, so far, my best phone I've ever bought, uh, I would say period, at this point. It's really awesome. If you have any questions, let me know. All right, so that's the uh, Sprint Galaxy Nexus. Getting a good shot of it. I don't know what else I can show you. Um, you want to see how, how they do texting. So there's basically texting right here. Let's say if, if you want to you know, write a message, a message, you know, blah, blah, blah. Self-explanatory, the keyboard, you so do. That's it. All right, thank you.